Hey guys, welcome to Skill Link. In one of our previous videos, we discussed absorption loss and scattering loss of optical fibers. The link is given in the description below. Today, we'll learn the other losses associated with optical fibers. No system is 100% efficient. For example, the incandescent bulbs where only a portion of its energy is converted into light, while the rest is wasted as heat energy. Having said that, optical fibers too are not 100% efficient and have some losses. So it's important that we recognize what could cause these losses in our optical fibers and try to minimize them as much as possible. So continuing on from where we left off, the remaining three types of losses in optical fibers are dispersion losses, bending losses, and coupling losses. Let's start with dispersion loss. This loss occurs as the wave travels through the optical fiber. When a signal is sent through the cable, it has a higher amplitude, and when it is received at the other end, the amplitude decreases. This happens because the pulse broadens as it travels through the fiber. Dispersion loss can be divided into two types, intermodal dispersion and intramodal dispersion. First, we have intermodal dispersion. The light signal travels as groups of modes. When these pulses travel inside the optical fiber, they are delayed by different amounts. This results in the waves reaching the destination at different times. At the destination end, each of these pulses overlap because of the time delay and becomes indistinguishable. Intermodal dispersion is observed in multi-mode fibers. One way of avoiding intermodal dispersion is by using single-mode fibers. Next, we have intramodal dispersion. Intramodal dispersion occurs in all modes of fibers. Here, the dispersion is dependent upon the wavelength of the optical signal and the material of the optical fiber. As different signals have different wavelengths, they interact with the fiber refractive index differently. This leads to the signal to be bent by different angles inside the optical fiber, making the signal reach the receiver end at different times. This results in the pulse broadening of the signal. As the pulse broadens, it overlaps onto the other signal, causing loss in the information. Now, let us learn about bending losses. Bending losses are also called radiative losses. From the name itself, you would have guessed that bending losses occur due to the bending of the optical fiber. Bending losses are also divided into two types, macro bending loss and micro bending loss. Let's look into each one of them individually. First, we have macro bending loss. Macro bending losses occur when the optical fiber is bent around the corners. This leaves the ray to be reflected in such a way that it escapes the fiber and results in loss of signal. During installation, the cables are bent around the corners. To avoid loss of the signal, the manufacturer should specify the minimum angle by which the fiber can be bent. Typical bending radius is between 10 to 14 centimeters. Next, we have micro bending loss. During installation or fabrication of an optical fiber, the core may have some bumps on the fiber surface, which may lead to the fiber having some imperfections. When the optical signal strikes the surface, it is reflected out of the fiber, resulting in loss of optical signal. The bends on the optical fiber can be caused due to mechanical stresses during manufacture or due to temperature induced dimensional changes in the fiber. Now let's move on to the final type of loss, coupling losses. Coupling loss occurs when a signal travels between two optical fibers. This could occur if the alignment of the two optical fibers isn't right. Also, coupling loss can occur if there is a gap between the connecting optical fiber. This will lead to loss in optical signal. Well, that was all the types of losses in an optical fiber. It is preferred that in an optical fiber, the attenuation level or light loss is kept as low as 0.36 decibels per kilometer. With this, we will end this video here. We'll see you in the next one with more interesting concepts. Until then, bye.